In this video lecture, we are going to explore OpenAI text-to-speech. We'll be writing some Python code using Google Colab and see how we can leverage OpenAI APIs to generate speech from text. The first thing you need is an account with OpenAI. Search for openai.com and then click Login. If you do not have an account, you can easily sign up using your Google ID. Let me log in since I already have an account. Then after that, click on the link. Here, the very first thing we need is an API key. Using the API key, we can interact with the OpenAI platform by making API calls. This is one of the keys that I already have. Next, I'll click on Create New Secret Key and Generate a New Key. I just have to give it a name, so let me give it a name. Then I can create a secret key. It will ask you to copy this secret key and save it somewhere because you won't be able to see it again. Just make sure you copy it and save it somewhere. Then you can use that key. I already have a key, so I don't need the second one for now. I'll delete that. Here, you can see it doesn't display the entire key, so make sure you save it somewhere so you can use it in your program later on. After that, click on the Usage link. Here, it shows how much you have consumed. I consumed certain amounts earlier, and it's getting displayed here. Now you can go to Settings, then Limits. You can see what is the limit for each of these models. For each model type, you will see a certain token limit. A token is not necessarily a word. One English word is approximately 1.3 tokens. Similarly, it varies for different languages. We are going to use the TS1 model for text-to-speech, and it has no token limit. However, you can make a maximum of three requests per minute or 200 requests per day. Similarly, you can see the limit for other models that OpenAI provides. GPT 3.5 Turbo is the model that was used for the initial version. There is a usage guideline here. It explains how many tokens you can use for each model. For any learning purpose or proof of concept, you should not face any challenges. If you are using this OpenAI API for a commercial product, there are ways to increase the limit. You can review the details here, but at least you will have to spend $5 before you can increase your limit. Go to Settings, then Billing. Here, you can see your credit balance. I have already added $5 to my account, so it shows my remaining balance. I have already consumed a certain amount. For all your learning purposes, $5 should be more than enough, and make sure you have an API key. So after that, let's go to Google Colab. Using Google Colab, we can easily write Python code. Here, we'll create a new notebook. Let's give it a name, OpenAI Text-to-Speech Demo. The first thing we need to do is install OpenAI by running pip install OpenAI. This will take a few seconds to install. After that, you need to import OpenAI from OpenAI and create a client instance. Here you have to specify your API key. That would be the key that you created on the OpenAI website. I'll use the actual key, but I won't show it here. 
After that, we need to write a few lines of code. To convert text to speech, we specify the input text for which we want to generate the corresponding speech. We need to give a name to the speech file. It supports the MP3 format. Let's put some text here. Hello world. This is generated using OpenAI, text-to-speech, text-to-speech API. Let's run this. We need to import path from the pathlib library. Okay, it has been successfully executed. Using this block of code, we can specify the file name where we want to write the generated speech. That is sample speech.mp3 here. We need to specify the model name. We are going to use text to speech one. That's the model name. The voice should be alloy. We'll go to the OpenAI website and see the different voices available. We can give some sample text here. Finally, we need to write the response to the specified file path. Now this code executed. Let's check out the sample file. We can download it. Let's download it. Save it somewhere. Then we can just play it. Hello world. This is generated using OpenAI Text-to-Speech API. We can hear the generated speech here. Let's go to the OpenAI website to see the different voices. We tried the Alloy voice. Let's try Echo. Sample Speech 2 will say Hello World and some other text. Let's run this. Close and open this again. We got the second MP3 file. Let's download the second MP3 file. Listen to the speech. Hello world, welcome to FutureX Skills. This way you can easily generate speech from text using the OpenAI API. Check the terms and FAQ section. You can review ownership and copyright details. Since you're paying for API usage, you own all the audio files generated using OpenAI APIs. If you want to know about the cost, OpenAI charges based on the number of tokens used by a model. Let's search for that. You can go to the OpenAI pricing page. Here we can see how much OpenAI charges for a particular model based on the number of tokens used. We can see how much they charge per 1,000 characters. They charge 0.1 cents. For 100,000 characters, it would be approximately $1.50. If you are converting 100,000 characters to speech, you would pay around $1.50. You can compare this pricing with other text-to-speech applications. If you need to build your own application, you can use this API for either building an app or creating content. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more informative content on cloud, data, AI, and generative AI. Hit the bell icon to receive future notifications.